Hi, everybody. I was trying to um, trying to get get found. So we, we, we're both a little new to Instagram lives, Louis, I think. But here we are. I'm so happy to be with you. Yeah, it's an honor to be with you. And everyone else who's commenting from all over yeah. the world. I know. It goes um, to show how big this mycelial network is. I it's know. We're really all connected. Global. I think we hit, there's every continent, every continent. That's right. That's right. Yes, it's so inspiring, isn't it? It's it's we we are we are uh, we are connected like the mycelial network is, and it's also helping us to to see how we're connected. Well, Louis, I just want to say how how grateful I am to you, as a filmmaker, as a visionary, as a as a wisdom carrier for our times. Um, you've you've made a movie and you've helped to build a movement that is helping us to feel our sense of place on this planet, helping us to re-envision what we are as a species, as a part of something bigger than us, rather than, rather than isolated consumers that are, you know, some, some of us, I think, almost see humanity a bit like a cancer, like we're just destroying ourselves and the planet. But you're helping us to imagine another way of conceiving of the human presence on this planet as guided by a wisdom that's so much deeper than us and yeah. that can help us to, to renew and restore our sense of place in the world. And the humility and the beauty with which you tell that tale with fantastic fungi is absolutely extraordinary. So the moment I saw the movie, I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely brilliant. And it's profound. And it helps me to feel a sense of heart and hope as a human on earth. And um, so now I finally get to meet you I, and chat with you. And of course, we're working together. Today is the official launch of a whole New, new era for Fantastic Fungi. For those who don't know, today we've just released together a whole new, um, a whole new um, release, a special event edition of the movie, Food Revolution Network, which I founded, is teaming up with Louie and the whole team at Fantastic Fungi to bring it out in the world. And so anybody who wants to can click in the, I guess the notes in the, in the uh, bio or go to fungi.foodrevolution.org to register and watch it completely for free and spread the word about this, this special event moment here for the next five days. We're spreading the word all over the world. I, I love it. You know, all I want to say is that, you know, in making a movie, y yes, I shot beautiful time-lapse and we definitely had some really good science, but the one thing that I didn't know when I started to make the movie was really the wisdom of nature's intelligence. The idea that this mycelial network is a shared underground community where ecosystems flourish, not based on greed, but by enabling each other. Yes. And, and that's what I think you know, you've know you done with your network, um, this idea that we want to share this wisdom. And, and once you understand nature's operating instructions, how do you integrate that into your personal life, into your business, into your community, and to, onto, on, onto a global scale? Right. Which is why, you know, our collaboration and, and the interviews I did and went deeper with so many of these thought leaders, artists, scientists, mycologists, permaculture experts, to dig deeper into that wisdom to really understand how you integrate this wisdom into your life. Yes, dig deeper is an appropriate metaphor, isn't it? <laughs> and, you know, for those who are wondering about the context here, if you go to fungi.foodrevolution.org, you can watch the special event edition of the film. Even if you've seen it before, this has got some new footage, new context, and it's a great way to spread the word. And when you watch it, you also get an opportunity out at the end of the movie to get an impact kit that, that we created with Louis and his team that really Inter where he interviewed some of the top experts in the world on this and really does go a lot deeper into all the issues the film opens up because in some ways this film is a door opener, right? To a whole new yeah. way in ourselves and the world. And then the Impact Kit is about helping you walk through that door and apply all that you're learning in your life. So we created this whole package. So the film's completely free. The Impact Kit isn't free. It's a great way to invest in our mission and in your own continuing education and journey of implementing all this. Um, and um, I'm just so grateful for that opportunity to work with you in creating this, Louis. And, you know, you've, you've been, as a filmmaker, you've been like capturing mushroom footage for a very long time. What, what got you started on that path? What made you want to, you know, film all this time-lapse photography and everything else you've created that obviously was many years in the making? 
Yeah, well, it all started off with a sense of wonder. And I kind of pioneered the whole idea of shooting high quality, high resolution, time lapse cinematography right out of college at UCLA. But taking that deep dive into time lapse and shooting flowers, um, and then you realize, oh my God, the flowers seduced me with their beauty, their color, their taste, their aroma. But I'm sure this is something you're very aware of. You know, what are flowers? You know, flowers are the beginning of fruits, nuts, vegetables, and seeds. Yes. And, and without them, you know, we wouldn't be here. And in addition, that's why I made a film called Wings of Life. It's on Disney Plus, where I tell the story of pollination and the critical issue we have, you know, with colony collapse disorder, that the bees go, you know, we go. But most people have no idea that a flower turns into the healthy food we need to survive. And then I guess I'm always trying to, you know, ask the big question, like, what is life, you know, unveil the mystery. What is the foundation of life? So pollination, I thought, was the foundation of life, the intersection between the animal world and the plant world that gives us the healthy food we need to eat. What do plants need? Well, they need soil. Where does soil come from? And if you ask that question, I swear, majority of people don't know that answer, you know? I and therefore, Fantastic Fungi, for me, was a way to illuminate the fact that soil isn't just dirt that was here on the planet for <laughs> millions of years ago it's a living breathing you know it's the lungs of the planet it, it gives the nutrients yes plants and gives us it, it's captured solar energy that we need to ingest and that is the basis of, of life on our planet so i just love looking at the little things in life that make the world go round and having reverence and appreciation for the fact that they sustain us and we need to sustain them. We need to protect them. Yes. We fall in love. The reason why the film is beautiful is that we can fall in love and let our emotions drive our choices. And it does that so beautifully. I mean, fungi, um, they, they're the ultimate composters. They, they take all of the waste and they recycle it into new life, right? And we, when we consume fungi, they also help fight cancer. They also help us heal and regenerate and, and have more vitality and wellness. And there are so many studies showing incredible health benefits to eating mushrooms. One of my favorites, you know, University um, of Perth in Western Australia, researchers studied women who had had breast cancer and women who had not had breast cancer. And they looked at their survival outcomes and uh, they ended up concluding that their chances of a recurrence or for those who hadn't had it of having it at all, when they ate mushrooms daily, they looked at all kinds of lifestyle factors and they ended up concluding mushrooms daily, 64% drop in breast cancer risk. And oh, well, that's one study, there's lots of different factors. We're not, right. we're not claiming anything here about cancer, but what we are saying is it's fascinating. And um, you know, if there was some new miracle drug that came out that could drop ca cancer risk by 64%, you'd, you'd right. see a lot of money being spent on it. And yeah. we're not talking about just fancy exotic mushrooms here. This was any type of mushroom, you know, button mushrooms, humble types, right? And the results were extraordinary. By the way, incidentally, when those same women also drank green tea daily, 89% drop in risk of breast cancer. So, you know, mushrooms and green tea sounds pretty good to me. And that's not just one isolated study. There are so many showing right. good for brain health, good for fighting <laughs> Alzheimer's, good for preventing it, good for, you know, uh, better immune health. And that's on the consumer side. Then we look at what fungi can do to help clean up toxic waste, help us restore our ecosystems, help our uh, sequester carbon out of the atmosphere. Exactly. Or a sense of place on the planet, feel like we belong to something bigger than us. You know, we don't have to figure this out all by ourselves. We have one of the most, most extraordinary ecosystems on the planet behind us, the, the mycelial network. And it's, it's all over the world. And feeling that sense of heart and beauty and wonder, that's what this film does, Louis. And yeah. I love it when you said fall in love. You want to help people fall in love because, you know, fall in love with soil, fall in love with the sense of connection. And, and of course, the mental health side is also a big part of the film. Sure. Looking at the, 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 the magical properties of mushroom, shall we say, and yeah. the way that those have extraordinary untapped potential. Uh, and now we have so many studies coming out showing, wow, this may be our most potent 
resource we've got right now for helping people resolve traumas and heal from PTSD and, and recover from depression and anxiety. And, you know, there's just so much to learn about in what context and what forms and what doses, but, but the potential is there. And rather than providing all the answers in the movie, you just open our minds to what's possible and our hearts to what's possible. And then of course the impact kit helps people to implement some of that more deeply yeah. in their lives. We, you know, we have great interviews with all those experts like Suzanne Smart, who, you know, the mother tree, another great example of love. I mean, the fact that a tree will, will give nutrients to its offspring to help them grow. I mean, this, this idea of connection and certainly the pandemic has made something really clear. The thing that really hurt most people was this disconnection from friends and family. The little things we always took for granted, having a family dinner, getting to hang out with your friends. We, we need that. But that's also yeah. how ecosystems flourish. They are connected. It's not a hippy dippy thing to right. talk about the fact that it's all connected. So I think that's one of the beautiful things about the movies is it illustrates how important connection is. And certainly, as you pointed out, the research that's happening now with, you know, um, psilocybin in 60 major universities across the world, people are reconnecting with themselves, reconnecting with nature in ways that gives them peace and, and teaches them how to live in harmony and have a symbiotic relationship with the planet, with their friends, with family. That's a major breakthrough. Certainly something we need at this critical junction in time. Absolutely, so true, so true. Um, and again, for anybody watching who wants to join in the special event edition of Fantastic Fungi, you can go to fungi, F-U-N-G-I, dot foodrevolution.org to watch it completely for free. For the next four days, there's a big launch happening. People all over the world are joining in, watching the special event edition. And then from there, they can choose. If you want to go the next step, it's totally free. If you want to go the next step, you can get the impact kit and go deeper with Louis as he interviews some of the top experts on the planet on all the topics raised. And <laughs> so you can really harvest some of that wisdom and implement it in your life. But you don't have to get that. You can just watch the free film if you want. And you also have the option to go deeper if you want to. So you can join in this global event for the next five days. Already this morning, I think 8,000 people have registered to watch yeah. the movie in the last few hours since we opened the doors. Everyone watching, please spread the word. Get this out there. We need to spread this because this is, this is healing. This is hope. This is, this is giving us a sense of place and belonging in a world that can feel so lonely and so isolated and so hopeless at times. You know, most people I know are feeling a lot of despair right now and uncertainty about the world. And I want you to know if you're feeling alone or isolated or scared, you're not alone. There's a lot of us who are concerned, who care, who who give a darn what's going on on this planet, who want to create something beautiful for humanity and for all of life. And this movie will give you a sense of belonging and place and, and connection uh, and heart and practical solutions that could make a world of difference. You know, yeah. we're not alone. Not alone because we have each other, not alone because we have the power of life itself, all of the ecosystems, all of the wisdom embedded in life. And we have the resources the, 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 that, that mushrooms bring us and this movie really opens the door wide to all of that. I got to tell you, Ocean, I love, I love reading these comments because, you know, our audience is so passionate and so committed. I mean, we are the eco-warriors. We are the Jedi Knights, you know. We are the changers. And, and I can see how people are saying they're going to be sharing this with their friends because we are a movement and we have to shift consciousness. I mean, all the negativity that you know, we we're hearing in the world, you know, it's such a overwhelming downer, but what you have to realize, it's, it's all about, you know, the battleground is about consciousness. It's about, are we gonna listen to that story, that old story of fear and anxiety and, and, and you know, violence and oppression, and, or are we gonna shift and say, we have the tools to create a better world. We can throw a better party. It's not like we ignore all that stuff, yeah. But the only way we can shift is like fear is like a cheap trick to grab your attention. Right. What we're going to do is use beauty and love and, and the wonder of nature to say that is the path forward. And we're not telling people how to live their life. We're not telling you what to do other than observe the wonder and then make your own choices 
and create your own context, how you want to integrate that into your life. I mean, it's one of the reasons why my next movie is about gratitude. You know, it's like the question, is, how do you integrate that wisdom into your life? That's really the takeaway. You can't just look at it and go, aha, it's gorgeous, whatever. I mean, we really need to mobilize ourselves in a real positive way to be the changers, yeah, right? We do, we do. Uh, gratitude is one of my favorite topics. Um, I'm very grateful that you brought that up. Uh, can we can we diverge for a second? Because this is all connected, right? Um, yeah. And I hear like, as you're working on a movie about gratitude, what are some of your top takeaways so far in that journey? Well, we're going to be releasing it, you know, in the middle of September, and then there was World Gratitude Day, September 20th, we're going to do a giant global virtual event. But to me, it was sort of the natural evolution. As we talked earlier, it went from flowers to pollinators, to soil, to fungi. And now that you sort of look at the blueprint of how life functions, the question is, how are you going to bring that into your life? Gratitude, for me, is that giant umbrella that has all of those values of compassion, empathy, kindness, curiosity, courage, love, wonder, focus. Those are all the topics that I touch with, you know, some luminary thought leaders, but actually ordinary, remarkable people, little kind of cinema verite vignettes of a rug weaver, a jazz player, you know, a farmer, you know, it's like just examples of how are they living their life? How are they, you know, taking that wisdom and integrating that into their own personal experience? And so, again, it's another example where I don't tell anybody how to live their life, but to be able to look at these little nuggets, these little jewels of wisdom that I've collected over 40 years, as if you traveled across America and got to meet all these cool people, what's your takeaway? What are you going to do? You know, you, you yeah. saw Mount Everest, are you going to climb it? You know? Right. right. Are you going to do the work? Are you yeah. going to do the journey? That's kind of the call to action. That's beautiful. You know, one of the things I would just want to say about gratitude is that I always thought I, there's a lot of studies out showing that people who express gratitude tend to be happier and healthier and have more fulfilling lives. Well, obviously, if good things happen to you, you're going to be grateful. But it actually works the other way. Like w w when you express gratitude, you actually, you know, what you appreciate appreciates and it tends to grow and people tend to have more to be grateful for. Gratitude doesn't just make things feel better. It actually makes them get better, too. So it's not just that you have a sense of uh, focusing on the half full side of the glass. You actually make the glass get fuller. So studies show that when people take some time, five minutes to give thanks at the end of the day, write down three things they're grateful for, for example, their marriages last longer. They exercise yeah. more. They lose weight. They eat better. They have more positive motivations. They have more positive social connections. Right. And all of those things create positive feedback loops where they're more likely to then give thanks because <laughs> the good things are happening and yeah. you get on the right side of the gratitude cycle. So rather than moping in despair and misery and frustration, and we've got a media system, a political system that feeds off of fear and misery and apathy. And we've got a, a consumeristic culture where a lot of companies, quite frankly, their profits hinge on people feeling like crap and thinking they need some new beauty product to be okay, some new processed food to feel a little bit better for some temporary reprieve from their suffering. Yeah. We zoom our way out of misery and we've got an economic system that in some ways perpetuates that. And you know what I see you doing at its core and what we're trying to do at Food Revolution Network is to get at the roots of that and say, no, you can reclaim your freedom. You can reclaim your joy by taking this into your hands. And so films like Fantastic Fungi are really giving people in some sense, a new sense of place in the world where we get to, to reclaim our sense of belonging and our sense of participation in the web of life yeah. rather than being isolated, miserable consumers. I mean, you know, my, my big takeaway is that, you know, beauty is nature's tool for survival because we protect what we love. Yes. I mean, why did nature create beauty? Did anybody teach you what beauty is? No, we have that in our soul, right? And yeah. so, you know, when that, that's why puppies are cute. That's why kittens mm -hmm. are cute. That's why babies are cute, right? Mm -hmm. Because DNA wants to go forward. Yeah. Why do we evolve? We're all part of that, that big chain. And so 
we can jump on that bandwagon. It's not like you have to learn something. It's not a practice. Fall in love. Fall in love with forests. Fall in love with food. Fall in love with a tomato. You know, it's just like it's so easy. Yeah. So easy because you know you when you realize the beauty, the energy, the the incredible intelligence it took to create that piece of food or that mushroom. You know, and and if and if you dive deep into it then the whole thing becomes a blessing when you eat it. You know, yeah. you don't yeah. have to tell, oh, you should say grace or you should say a blessing over your food. I mean, those ancient practices, which became kind of rigid, right. are a natural expression of, of, of gratitude. You know, yeah. because now you understand, you know, yeah. what it's all about. You know, it didn't come shrink-wrapped, didn't come homogenized and processed, you know. There it is, you grew it, it's in your hand, and you get to enjoy it. What a gift. So beautiful. I'm loving all the comments coming in. I saw one of the comments was um, about, uh, it's, they get buried fast, but thank you everybody for sharing. I love feeling the connection here. One of the comments was about how to eat mushrooms and the best way to eat them because they have incredible health benefits. And yes. one of the really fun things we did is we partnered up with Louie and the Fantastic Fungi team for this, this special event edition is we created a, a recipe book, 20, whole foods, plant-based recipes that feature mushrooms, all different kinds of mushrooms. So when you go to fungi.foodrevolution.org, you can register for free viewing of the special event edition of the film. And you can also get our recipe book for free. It's a PDF download with some of our favorite recipes uh, of amazing ways to enjoy mushrooms. And the good thing is, although we use different types of mushrooms in there, you can mix and match which is also fun. So if you can't get a certain type, don't worry about it because not everyone has the same types at the same seasons and all that. But almost all of us can get certain mushrooms anytime. So you can, you can mix and match, but it's really fun to discover the culinary delights of mushrooms, right? And these, these creatures are so powerful and they're also so yummy. And you know, uh, given our focus, we're on whole foods, plant-based, in terms of Food Revolution Network, because we really want to help people move towards a plant-centric, plant-rich diet pattern for the sake of the planet and our, and our own health. Mushrooms are a wonderful ally in that as well, because they add that right. umami flavor, they add awesome texture, you know, and, um, and they're also super sustainable and, uh, and regenerative even when they're growing right. So- and, and they're also inside of you. I mean, the whole, you know, giant conversation you can have about the microbiome, right? right. Without, without them in our gut, you can't digest food. Hello? So we have this symbiotic relationship that has evolved over millions and millions of years. And you spoke earlier about the health benefits. I mean, penicillin has saved more lives than any other medicine. And it's a fungi, you know, it's a mold. So we have this beautiful symbiotic relationship that, you know, we just need to be aware of. And I think once you're aware of it, you'll make all the right choices in terms of the foods you eat, in terms of, you know, uh, protecting the garden, you know, no pesticides, um, you know, no till agriculture. I mean, all these things to protect the mycelial network and the mushrooms that just want to flourish. Yes, they really do. Well, this is so exciting. Um, I'm so grateful for everybody who's chiming in right now. Nature is my bliss as whole foods. Plant-based is the best way to live. Sandy Grecky, Sands Grecky says, I'm so interested in this. Amanda Lynn says, the connections are everywhere. Nutritiously plant, Planty says, Lion's Mane is my favorite. Uh, lots and lots of great comments coming in. Thank you all. We've got participants from all over the planet joining in and chiming in so far. Uh, let me just say, um, I can feel it. You know, I can feel this, this movement building. Um, as I mentioned earlier, more than 8,000, probably by now more than 9,000 people have signed up so far in the last few hours since we opened the doors at fungi.foodrevolution.org to join in this special event edition release of this incredible landmark film. So if you go again to fungi, F-U-N-G-I, foodrevolution.org, you can watch the special event edition for free. You can get the recipe guidebook we created with amazing, fabulous mushroom recipes, all whole foods, plant-based. And you can also spread the word. Let everyone know, everyone you know about this opportunity to watch this movie for free and to be a part of this landmark moment as we humans who are participating in this movement start to reimagine our sense of place on the planet 
and start to become, allow the mycelial network to be allies to us as eco-warriors, as healers, as regenerators, as humans who want to live in a good way on this planet, as humans who want to be healthy and restore our own microbiomes and our own balance, let the mycelial network help you and work with you and inspire you and heal you and transform you and become more potent as you give your gifts, as you become what you were born to do on this planet. And that's why we're here right now. So everybody who is with us, thank you for your part in this movement. Louis, thank you for your leadership, for your creativity, for your brilliance, for your filmmaking genius, and for giving us an opportunity to work together to spread this in the world. I'm honored to be a part of it. And I got a, got a quick thing I want to share with you. We've been connected for a long time. I actually did a commercial for Baskin Robbins that won multiple awards. <laughs> <laughs> we had like these young kids in a miniature car driving to the Grand Canyon, big old scoop of ice cream and Mount Rushmore. I'll have to share more. I'll, I'll have to share that commercial with you, but it's amazing how we are all interconnected. And I love all the comments I've seen coming through. It's a miracle that we can have this conversation and feel that we're connecting with people in South America and Africa and Europe, all across America. It just lifts my heart. And I'm so, so grateful for the great work that you do to teach us to live in a natural way. Thank you. For anybody who's wondering who missed that connection, so you may have caught my name, Ocean Robbins. So that's, that's what Louis is referring to. My grandpa founded Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Company. And, um, my dad, John, grew up with an ice cream cone shaped swimming pool. He was groomed to one day join in running the company, but he did walk away from a path that was practically paved with golden ice cream to follow his own rocky road and went on to become a best-selling author writing about food and health. And now we're working together. We founded Food Revolution Network together. And as fate would have it, my grandpa Irv wound up having his life saved by reading my dad's book as he was on death's door with diabetes and heart issues. So we've really seen in our family the power of food to heal or to harm. Um, so uh, Louis, I'm glad that you moved on in your filmmaking talents. Uh, awesome that you cut your teeth with the Baskin Robbins commercial. I'm sure it was successful because you're extremely skillful and talented. Um, and I'm also glad you moved forward and that we both can leave Baskin Robbins in the mirror with all love and respect. Yes together to create some healing uh, for humanity. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. I thought you would enjoy that little connection. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. I know who his first job was at Baskin Robbins was Barack Obama. He went on to do some other stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> great. Really great. Yeah. All right. Uh, great work. I'm glad everybody's diving in. This is going to, you know, in, in many ways, I think, you know, shift consciousness on the planet. It's what we need. And I believe we can do it and we're going to continue to do it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today. And thanks for being a part of this movement to spread the word about the power, the power of fungi to help heal us and restore us, regenerate us and heal our planet and inspire us and move us. And again, go to fungi.foodrevolution.org to sign up, join in the free viewing, spread the word, get your recipe download so you can get all the amazing whole foods plant-based mushroom recipes our team put together and let's make this a global event tell the people you love about this incredible film if you haven't seen it do it now if you have seen it tell everybody because this is an incredible opportunity yep. and let's feel this connection i can sure feel it i'm so excited to everybody yeah. from all over the planet thank you we're yeah. with you we celebrate you and I just want people to know too that like if, they've, if they have seen it, we've added a lot more uh, new material that no one, we haven't seen before, a lot of educational stuff, a lot of foraging, a lot of very positive educational content. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, it's been a, it's been a delight to hang with you, Louie, and everybody sure. here all over the world. Thank you so much. Let's do this. Okay. Thank you.